August 5th, 2011. That day rewrote my life, but I wouldn't realize it until I got back home. I was injured by a grenade. I zigged when I should have zagged. I ended up getting brain injury. I lost the hearing on my right side. So when I got home, I was dealing with the issues of being home after being in a combat zone for seven months. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. On top of that, I had the issues with my brain injury um, that I wasn't getting treatment for. Because I was afraid to ask for help, you know, I almost lost my life. My lowest was May 5th, 2012. I planned to kill myself that night. By chance, I had drank too much and passed out before I could get to the bottle of pills. The next day, I got Gunner. I wanted this one dog. I didn't want him at all. I kept pushing him away because he was like the runt. He kept pushing through the dogs and jumping on my lap. And I was sitting there, and my buddy puts his hand on my shoulder, and he goes, that dog picked you. I was suicidal. I was dealing with all these issues, and he still picked me. All of a sudden, I had this puppy that I was responsible for. It changed my life. As we trained and started doing more and more Spartan races, our bond just got closer and closer and closer. And, you know, we just became one. I mean, he knows me sometimes better than I know myself. About two years ago, I got involved with a veteran-run nonprofit called Operation Enduring Warrior. And one of their programs was taking wounded and injured veterans through obstacle course racing. When we do the team athlete stuff, we wear a mask to hide our identity. And, and during the course, it, it's amazing to see where at the beginning there was doubt, the transformation into pride. You know, when we started doing these obstacle course races, not only did our bond grow because we had to learn how to handle these obstacles together, I had to learn how to get him through the obstacle safely. And even though we do all these races and I know he can do the obstacle, I know we're gonna get through it, it doesn't matter. I see him finish and I get just so happy and I see it in his eyes, he's accomplished. It's, it's the proud parent moment. When you're doing this physical activity, you have to put nutrition in your body. It's the same with him. Even since he was a puppy, I was very strict about what he ate. When we started racing, I realized that not only do I have to worry about what I'm taking in for nutrition to fuel my body as we go through the course, I need to do the same with him. Everything I do for my body, I do for his body too. You know, he has that just this uncanny ability to help people without doing anything. Just watching him run on the course, People's reactions to seeing this dog, for some reason, they see him and go, well, if he can do it, I can do it. Instead of cringing in the pain they're suffering, they smile. Service dogs allow people to live a life they wouldn't otherwise be able to live because of whatever issue or disability that they're suffering from. It's near impossible to, to do anything on your own. And having a support system, whether it be one dog, a team of people, it doesn't matter the number. If you don't get help, you're gonna get worse. But if you ask for help, you'll get better. And you're still the same person. Nothing changes except for your life getting better. Gunner gave me life. This dog saved me from myself. And I owe my life to him because without him, I wouldn't be here today. If I talk to everybody in the world, seven billion people, and save just one person, everything I've done is worth it.